Hey everybody, it's the coach. This is preseason football on EA Sports. Coming up, we'll see the Red Rifle, Andy Dalton, and the Cincinnati Bengals as they do battle with the reigning MVP of the National Football League, Patrick Mahomes, and the Kansas City Chiefs. With that, we're off to Arrowhead for the call from Kansas City. We'll hand it over to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, from one of the loudest venues in the NFL, there's a look at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up with Andy Dalton and the Cincinnati Bengals. Hello again, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And, Charles, we look at this Chiefs ball club, and I don't think from what we saw down on the field before the game, there's any doubt they're ready to roll. They pass the eye test, don't they? This team looks fired up and ready to play. Meanwhile, for the Bengals here, an early season tilt. And when it's an early season tilt, should be ready to roll. Well, let's face it, the aches and pains haven't really set in yet. And both teams eyeing a really good start to get things going. Here's Randy Bullock now to put toe to leather, and we are underway from Arrowhead. That's fielded in the end zone, and no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Patrick Mahomes now in his third season in the league, leading the Chiefs onto the field, and boy, when the Chiefs traded starting quarterback Alex Smith before 2018, a lot of people were wondering how good Patrick Mahomes could be, and he showed the entire league how good he could be, racking up over 5,000 yards and tied for second-most passing touchdowns in a season with 50 of them, and he was handed the MVP and Offensive Player of the Year awards. Mahomes now to throw, and this one caught by Travis Kelsey. The game's first play produces six yards, brings up second down. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. On play action, it's Mahomes. Try to lob it in there, but it's incomplete. And quickly now, a look at the Kansas City offense. At one point, Kansas City thought they had a dilemma at the running back position in 2018, but Damian Williams came to the rescue. A big year for him, the highest yards per attempt of his career, and he scored four touchdowns in December as the Chiefs made a playoff run. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. And an alley to run! And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Mahomes can sling it, but the feet are nimble, too, as he scrambles for a first down. When plays break down, that's normally when Mahomes is at his best throwing the football, but as we saw, he can run it, too. Last year, 60 carries, 272 yards, great elusiveness and speed, and you know, the Chiefs obviously don't want him to be a running quarterback, but if he sees an angle like he did there, any opening, he has the ability to take it and run. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Now a man who really came on late last year. It's Damian Williams. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. And the Bengals starting defensive unit now. Strong safety Sean Williams really bounced back from injuries in previous seasons to post one of the best years of his NFL career. Five interceptions in 2018, led the league in interception return yards, provides great veteran leadership, and some real thump coming from his spot in the secondary. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. They'll run it with Williams. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Back-to-back -back four yard runs. Now look, if they just do that all the way down, field ball ends up in the end zone, but that's a little difficult to do. Yeah, I think now third and two, that defense ready to stiffen up and stop that run. He's got the first down here inside the 30. And down to the 19 yard line. 
containing him is becoming a big problem. We've already seen this once earlier on this drive. Yeah, and so now two times this has happened. Do you adjust something? Yeah, I think you do. I think you got to start thinking about your rush lanes. Try not to either get too wide or too narrow. Make sure someone is there waiting for him. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. From 19 yards away. And the Chiefs take it right down and score on the opening drive. Well, that's how they envisioned it, get the football to start the game and score it. And I don't know if that was scripted, was it an audible, or was it just a play call that they had in their pocket? No matter what, they had the right call on against the right defense, and they end up in the end zone. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. And his kick is good to make it 7-0 KC. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This is taken at the three. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. So here are the Bengals under first-year head coach Zach Taylor. They'll be let out by the former Texas Christian University Horn Frog, Andy Dalton. And there's no substitute for experience in this league. And what it usually leads to, a whole lot of confidence. Andy Dalton is sharp with where to go with the football now. I think he sees reads before they actually even happen. He can sense them now. And he is one of the better quarterbacks in the NFL. So here's Dalton and the Bengals now. First and 10 at their own 26. Here's Dalton. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. Here now the offense for the Bengals. So let's all work together on this one because it's natural to just watch the football. But I want all of us to watch the center of this offensive line. The center and the two guards. They've got to be able to control the point of attack. And they didn't do such a good job on that last play. Plenty of opportunities to redeem themselves. They'll have to take advantage of that and start to make progress. To throw on second and ten. Dalton. And a glance now at the Chiefs defense. Tyron Matthew has a cornerback's build with safety skills. The Honey Badger knows where the football is. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Throwing, Dalton. And that will be incomplete as well. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. So on fourth down, on comes the left-footed punter, Kevin Huber, to punt it away. Tyreek Hill back deep for Kansas City. This is taken at the 15. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Mark that down as an 85-yard punt return. And the Chiefs strike quickly here for six points. And you've got a guy that fast back there to receive punts. That's a nightmare for the guy game planning, the special teams coach, but it's also a nightmare for the punter. Sometimes they get so nervous that they miss hit the ball and kick it right to him. Extra point right down the middle, and it's now 14 to nothing. Well, we know he has home run hitting ability in the punt return department, and he showcases it there all the way back for six. So after surrendering the pup return for a score, let's see what they can do in turn on this kickoff. This one taken from the seven. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. 
Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. On second and nine, Dalton into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Darren Lee picks it, and he's going to return it to the 21-yard line. So more problems here in this first quarter. Already two scores down, and here they give away the football. And if I'm the head coach, I think it's time to start lighting a fire under some of these guys. Now, you have to do it within your personality. They can't perceive it as fake, but I'd go get after some guys because they don't look ready to play to me. They look flat, uninspired. It's time to get moving. Now a first down carry. It's Williams. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. It'll go as a gain of 10 and a Kansas City first down. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that'll bring up a second and 11. On second and 11 now, Mahomes. And he will score. Touchdown, Kansas City. Patrick Mahomes with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. Boy, these guys are off to the races, Charles. 20 to nothing already, extra point pending. Yeah, you always hear that term. They just boat race someone. Heck, it's car race, motorcycle race, plane race, whatever you want. Right now, they are sprinting past them. Point after, right down the middle. And that makes the score 21 to zip. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it was all capped by Patrick Mahomes using his legs to get in the end zone. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This is taken at the three. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. Getting set to go again, Andy Dalton marches back onto the field. And he'll look to rebound from the early interception that led to six points the other way. And when he threw the interception and he had to come to the sideline, I guarantee his first thought wasn't about the interception itself, but what could result. And I know he was thinking to himself, come on, defense, bail me out. Well, they weren't able to in this situation. Now he's got to go out and atone for it himself, but he can't force things. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before go. they work go. it across midfield. 22 yards there, a first down. First down, Cincinnati. And this should be the final play before the quarter I'm ends. You. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. 21-0 our score after one. 